Hello, my name is Vox and you're watching Den of Fools. Let's jump right in. In week 34 of 2023, we had 117 tournaments with a total of 1,857 players and 6,223 games played. We do see slightly less players in tournaments than last week, but only by a small amount. The Eldari, obviously, are at the top with 30 wins and 53 top 3 placings. They have the best weighted placing of the factions with more than a few players with 4.4. They also do much better in the larger tournaments than any other faction with an impressive 16 wins. This is 8 times the next closest, which was 2 large tournament wins. The Space Marines are in 2nd with 12 wins and 32 top 3 placings. They have a weighted placing of 28, which is significantly worse than last week's 18.2. They are one of the 4 factions in blue, which got 2 big tournament wins. The Thousand Suns come next with 11 wins and a weighted placing of 7.7, .7, the 2nd best overall. They have proven their 9.8 weighted placing from last week and seem to be one of the factions to beat at the moment. Imperial Knights get 9 wins and a weighted placing of 11.8. They are performing quite well at the moment and are showing no signs of slowing down. Custodies come next with 8 wins and their weighted placing is 17.9, which is lower than the 20.1 they got last week. Chaos Space Marines are the last faction in blue with 7 wins and a weighted placing of 12.6. It'd be interesting to see how many wins the factions in blue would get if Eldari did not take the vast majority. Perhaps after the next balance update, the placing table will be a bit more even. Another of the top factions, the Genes of the Cults, get 5 wins and a weighted placing of 11.2. As we have discussed before, their low player count generally leads to them not winning that many tournaments. The Drukhari get the third best weighted placing this week with 9.8, although they did not have a huge number of players. 25 factions manage at least one top 10 placing, with the Space Marines getting the most top 10s with 161. The Eldari are in second with 102 top 10 placings. 76.7% .7 of all Eldari players this week manage a top 10 placing which is even better than last week. Custodies are in third, with 94 top 10 placings. Unsurprisingly, the Space Marines are the most played faction, with 18.09% of all players taking them. Custodies are the second most popular faction on 7.7%, followed by Necrons in third on 7.59%. Surprisingly, the Eldari are only in fourth, after being second pretty much since the start of 10. It takes our resident stats guru and Ultramarine fanboy, Fearless Fox, many hours to collect all the data. It would be great if you could show your appreciation by liking and sharing the video. It really helps us with the god algorithm of YouTube. We have grouped the win rates by colour, with the key at the bottom of the screen. We see one faction at the top of the rankings with very few players, so this week Eldari topped the win rates with 69%. What more can I say, they have less players and perform even better. The Thousand Suns were in second with a win rate of 58.1%. They also got the second best weighted placing this week. They really are performing well at the moment. Imperial Knights are next with a win rate of 56.5%. They are now consistently performing at this level. The second most popular faction, Custodies, are just behind with a win rate of 56.3%. The Gene Stealer Cults are the first faction in the Goldilocks zone with a win rate of 52.3%. This is a big decrease on the 62.4% they got last week. I am not sure why it has decreased so much. Perhaps it is just a bad week compared to their usual win rate. The Tyranids and the third most popular faction, Necrons, top the yellow group both getting a win rate of 49.7%. I wonder if the upcoming Tyranids Codex will be able to stand up to Eldari's power. We know their Codex will bring 5 new detachments, each with 4 enhancements and 6 stratagems to choose from. They are also getting some nice new units, such as the Norn Emissary, who we have seen some rules for. His psychic shooting looks good, and he has a tough profile, but personally, I am very interested to know what it can do in melee. With all of this, I think they will do rather well, especially considering it is very unlikely to get any changes in the next balance update. How do you think the new Tyranist Codex will perform? Let us know in the comments. Drukhari and the most popular faction Space Marines top the red group with a win rate of 39.7%. It is a bit surprising Drukhari have such a low win rate, considering they have the third best weighted placing this week. Of course, the second most popular faction Eldari top the Leviathan to date win rates with an impressive 66.1%. The Gene Stealer Cults are still the only other well-represented faction in blue, with a win rate of 60.7%. They have dropped down a fair bit after a comparatively worse week. The Imperial Knights see a slight increase in their win rate, getting 55.9%. After a reasonably long time suggesting the third most popular faction Custodies will get out of the Goldilocks zone, they have finally managed it, with a 10th edition win rate of 55.2%. The Thousand Suns are steadily climbing, their win rate is now 52.9%. I do think that they will perform very well when the factions above get the nerf. As perhaps the best of the rest, perhaps they will get a just-in-case nerf as well. Chaos Demons are the last faction in green, with a win rate of 50%.
They are seemingly the most externally balanced army at the moment. The Tyranids are also seemingly well balanced, with a win rate of 49.3%. Whether it goes up or down when the Codex releases, I would be surprised if it lands near 50%. The most popular faction, Space Marines, get a win rate of 43.2%, with a further 9 factions below them, 4 of which are in red. This week, the single Crimson Fist player tops the win rate with 66.7%. As there are only a single player, this week the Salamanders come first, with a win rate of 50%. The Death Watch are the last of only two chapters in the Golden Deluxe Home, with 49.5%. The most popular chapter, the Dark Angels, come next, with a win rate of 43.1%. Fearless's favourite Blue Boys and second most popular chapter, the Ultramarines, get a win rate of 41.3%. The Imperial Fists are just behind, with a 41.2% win rate. The third most popular chapter, the Black Templars, are the last faction in yellow, with a win rate of 40.3%. The majority of chapters are in red this week, with 9 in total. A lot of them do not have many players, but the Blood Ages and Space Wolves do have a large number of players. They get a win rate of 36.1% and 34.4% respectively. The Death Watch remain at the top of the Leviathan to date win rates with 52.3%. The Iron Hands have dropped out of the Green Group, after their 27.5% win rate this week. They are now on a win rate of 47.3%. The Salamanders come next with a win rate of 46.9%, followed by the Imperial Fists with a win rate of 45.3%. The most popular chapter, the Dark Angels, are just outside the Goldilocks zone with a win rate of 44.2%. The Flesh Terrors and Crimson Fists get a win rate of 43.4% and 43.1% respectively. The third most popular chapter, the Black Templars, got a win rate of 42.6%, followed by the Space Wolves, who have dropped down to a win rate of 42.2%. The Raven Guard get a win rate of 42%, just ahead of the Ultramarines, who are on 41.9%. The Blood Angels have dropped back into the Red Group, with a win rate of 39.5%. This week, the majority of the Chaos Space Marine Warbands are unknown, so we will go straight into Leviathan so far. The Free Fallen players top the win rates with 60%. The 21 Empress Children players come next, with 53.8%. The Iron Warriors are now in green, with a win rate of 51.4%. The Werebearers now top the yellow group on a win rate of 49.1%. The most popular, the Black Legion, get a win rate of 48.7%, followed by the Red Corsairs, who are on 48.5%. The Alpha Legion are on a win rate of 46.4%, with the Night Lords at the bottom with a win rate of 40.3%. If you enjoyed our content, please subscribe, check out one of the videos on screen, and consider using our affiliate links in the description. Thank you for watching.